10 Unusual Pets in the World. Animals, huh? They're pretty awesome, actually. And what about the most unexpected? The types that people keep as pets which are highly unusual. Hmm, this will be an interesting video and we're sure that you'll love it as much as we do. Comment below and tell us your most unusual animal preference. We'd sure love to hear about it. Hey everyone, a big and warm welcome to MindRead. If you've just stumbled upon our videos, then we're sending a huge welcome to you this very day. And if you've been here before, we're sending you so much love and a big thank you for joining us again. Thanks so much for being a part of our cool day. In fact, today we're counting down the top 10 unusual pets in the world. So let's get to it and see where this leads us. We never know where we might end up, and that's the best part, right? So hold on to your llamas, dolphins, and penguins because here we go. Make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe with notifications so you never miss a video. If you do subscribe and you've left a like, leave a comment saying I subscribed and I'll reply to all of you saying thank you. Number 10. At the 10th spot, we're talking all about the monkey. These pets are unusual because they're not the regular variety of house cat or usual doggy. So let's see what's so cool about them. A monkey is a long-tailed, medium-sized member of the primates. The primate order also includes macaques, guenons, capuchins, marmosets, baboons, and tamarins. Monkeys today are members of simian primates, the New World monkeys and the Old World monkeys, and there are 264 known species. Some comparative features between the New World and Old World monkeys include the tail. Most New World monkeys have what's known as prehensile tails, while Old World monkeys do not. The facial feature of each group of monkeys also differs too, however, but generally they're a very diverse family of the species, ranging in size from the 5 to 6 inch pygmy marmoset to the mandrill, which can be over 3 feet in height. Most monkeys survive from fruits, leaves, nuts, eggs, berries, insects, and sometimes they hunt other smaller animals. Let's see what's next in the countdown now. Number 9. At spot number 9, we're talking about pigs, but not just any kind of pig. We're totally going to look at the miniature variety in this instant. Aww, we just love how cute they are. Teacup, Mini, Micro, or Pixie. There are a lot of different titles that breeders use to describe their tiny looking little pigs. There are 15 to 20 breeds of mini pig. And all of them are 150 to 180 pounds at full size, says Hoyle, an avid miniature pig expert. Now that sounds big, but compared to a full-sized farming pig, which is around 600 pounds, they are quite miniature. A breed of very tiny pigs doesn't exist in nature, he added. In fact, pigs can take up to five years to reach their full size, so it could be very difficult to tell how large your new pet could actually become. Your best bet is to visit your pig's parents so you can see how big they are. And that's according to the guidance of the American Mini Pig Association. If mom and dad are larger than what you'd expect, then it's a no-go. Let's keep on going! We're having so much fun here with this awesome countdown. Number 8. At the 8th spot now, we're gonna talk about the Mini Donkey. Oh, how surreal and totally reminding us of a donkey and what cool movie was that? You know the one. It's a kid's movie. Can you tell us what it's called below? Anyway, this pet is unusual and highly satisfying as a pet, mostly because of its unusual character and gorgeousness. Miniature Mediterranean donkeys are more commonly known as miniature donkeys, and they're a separate breed in their own right, originally sprouting from the islands of Sardinia and Sicily in beautiful, sunny Italy. These slight but attractive donkeys can be found embellished in a wide variety of colors and gorgeous markings, including chestnut, skewbald, spotted, cream, gray, brown, and black as well. Aww, and this takes our cutest spot in the entire countdown today for 10 unusual pets in the world. We just love these, don't you? Number 7. Spot 7 goes to turkeys, of course. No, that wasn't a way of name calling at all. We mean the actual animal. You know, the one that goes gobble, gobble, gobble. These are both strange and very cool. Let's learn a little more about the humble turkey as a pet variety. Turkeys are birds classified as members of either the family Phasianidae or Meliagridae. The best known type is the common turkey, or Meliagris galopavo. This is a native bird of North America, which was widely domesticated for the dinner table. The other species is known as Agriocaris or Meliagris. Other similar birds are known as the Bustard, Australian turkey, Megapode, brush turkey, and the snake bird, or water turkey. Do you think turkeys would make a cool pet? 
Comment below and let us know. We definitely think they're strange and unusual. Number six. Here at spot number six, we're definitely going to bring out the A word. Are you ready for it? Brace yourself for a moment, please. Arachnid, specifically tarantulas of that family. Yes, and some of you might have become a little squeamish in the comment section, but it's only a video, so you're totally safe, we promise. But there was that one movie where giant spiders came out and chased those young boys. What movie was that again? Maybe you can tell us below. It was a magical movie. Anyway, tarantulas are part of the family of spiders called hairy mygalomorphs. These are the spiders that scientists think have been around for millions of years and haven't changed too much within that time. There are about 700 species of tarantulas. Tarantulas are found in rainforests and jungles of South and Central America, and sometimes in Africa and in the South of North America. Many tarantulas live underground in burrows. They might use their fangs to dig them in or even steal another animal's burrow home. They do not spin webs, but use their silk to make doors or soft walls for their burrow, or sometimes in tunnel-shaped homes in trees. Tarantulas are hunters of the night who will pounce on their prey. They love to eat insects, beetles, and grasshoppers as well. The biggest tarantula species Species, the Goliath bird-eating tarantula will eat bigger prey such as snakes, frogs, bats, lizards, and smaller bird varieties. Okay, let's go ahead on to our next spot in the countdown. Number 5. Our next spot goes to the ostrich, a wonderfully unusual part of our countdown. And we absolutely love the ostrich, but let's see why. The common ostrich, Struthio camelis, is a species of large, flightless bird which is native to certain large areas of Africa. It is one of the two species of ostriches, the only living members of the genus known as Struthio in the ratite order of birds. The other species is the Somali ostrich, Struthio molybdophanes, which is a very distinctive subspecies of ostrich. It's very distinctive in its appearance, with a long neck and tall legs. In fact, it can run for a very long time at speeds of 34 miles per hour to 43 miles per hour, which is the fastest land speed of any bird. The common ostrich is the largest species of bird and lays the biggest eggs of any living bird found in the world today. Wow, what a cool bird, although it might outrun you. Can you run that fast? Apparently our team manager and video maker can, but the rest of our team have yet to see it. Hmm, we might have a pet dress up day soon and see how that goes. What costume would you wear? A zebra, a tiger, a dodo perhaps? It really is something to think about. Let's keep moving. Number four. Our next spot is open for the countdown. But what is it? A puma? No. A pangolin? Nope, it's not that either. I'll give you a clue. It's from Australia, but it's not a cute and fluffy koala bear. Okay, drum roll please. Yes, it's definitely going to be the wombat. Now, you mightn't have ever heard of this one because it's from Australia, or down under as some of the residents there might say. Wombats are Australian marsupial mammals that have very short legs and are the closest relative to the gorgeous koala. They have a backward-facing pouch so that when they're nursing their young, they can still dig burrows and not fill their pouch with soil. Wombats feed on grasses and roots because they are herbivores, and so they dig long and extensive burrow systems with their powerful claws. These beautiful animals in the wild are nocturnal and will rarely venture out during the daytime. Wombats are slow movers, however, but they can run very quickly if need be. Their best form of defense is when they're in their burrow. They can crush a predator or attacker underground using a large, solid plate in their backside by pushing against the roof of their burrow if absolutely necessary. Wow. Let's keep going. Wombats were so snuggly and oh, so dangerous. Number three. So we're at the third spot and it's gotta be the buffalo. Bubilina is a subtribe of the tribe Bovini within the Bovinae subfamily. There are loads of types of buffalo. African buffalo, Bubalis, wild water buffalo, water buffalo, Italian buffalo, Anoa, Tamara, and more. The Bubalis morensis is an extinct species of water buffalo that occupied habitats in Europe in the Pleistocene era along the rivers. Bison are related too and are large, even-toed ungulate within the subfamily Bovinae. There are American and European bison, and this is definitely the magnanimous part of our cool countdown today for 10 unusual pets in the world. Imagine this in the living room. Whoa! Number two. 
We're here at the Best Pick Now, and it's sent in by Lucy Jarvis from the UK. Thanks so much, Lucy! Boa constrictor, or large, thick-bodied snake of the boa, resides in the family Boidae. Its range is wide, spanning from lovely Argentina to the north of vibrant Mexico. Though it loves living in tropical rainforests, it also inhabits savannas, cane fields, and scrublands which are semi-arid. The snake's length is typically about 10 feet or 3 meters, but some of more than 18 feet have been reported. The number of boa constrictor subspecies is disputed, ranging from 6 to 11, and apparently it's still up for debate. So would you want to walk this on a leash like in the picture? It seems a bit much, right? Comment below and let us know your thoughts on this. And how about this, would you let it sleep in your bed at night? Yeah, that might be a bit constrictive. Okay, yes anyway, thanks so much Lucy, what a great pick. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. This is the one you've all been waiting for. You'll never guess what it is. No, it's not a whale or an owl, although those would be interesting. This time, it's the kangaroo. And we're a little bit hopping mad for this one. Pardon the pun, but the scriptwriter and video editor are bouncing like crazy. They look absolutely ridiculous. Okay, let's hear more about the kangaroo. The kangaroo is a marsupial from the family Macropodidae, meaning large foot. Here, the largest species from the family, especially the red kangaroo, antilopine kangaroo, eastern grey kangaroo, and western grey kangaroo are notable in Australia. Kangaroos are native to this country alone. The estimate is that over 34 million kangaroos lived within the commercial harvest areas within the year 2011, which was up for the 25.1 million one year earlier, according to the Australian government at the time of counting. The title names Wallaroo, Wallaby, and Kangaroo speak of a paraphyletic group of species. All are part of the same taxonomic family called Micropodidae and are noted according to size. The largest species in the family are the kangaroos and the smallest are known as wallabies. Kangaroos have large hind legs which are very powerful and also big feet adapted for leaping with a long and strong tail for balance, holding a small head which is upright and alert. The female kangaroos have a pouch called marsupium in which joeys are allowed to grow during postnatal development. Many of the smaller species are rare in endangered while kangaroos are exceptionally plentiful. Wow, which unusual pet was your favorite of our cool countdown? Comment below and we'd certainly love to hear it. Check out our other awesome videos here at the channel too, because we have loads of them. And all you need to do is get yourself to the video section and pick out a title that you really like. You might find a whole bunch actually. So we're gonna say see you later for now. But you can be sure that we'll be back to you real soon with another amazing topic video. And if no one told you today, of course we love you guys. Like, subscribe, and share too. We'd really love that. Bye guys and gals, stay safe and super happy.